This is Japan, a country known for its frequent seismic activity and devastating earthquakes. Throughout its history, Japan has experienced a significant number of destructive earthquakes, and now they are working on an architectural masterpiece called the Torch Tower. This $4.8 billion skyscraper is like nothing we have ever seen. The Torch Tower would be the tallest building in Japan, joining the list of some of the most iconic skyscrapers in the world. With its incredible height and captivating design, the Torch Tower is a mind-blowing project. But, apart from its intimidating height, what else is so special about the Torch Tower? Why are we so excited about it? Also, this tower is not a standalone project. It's a part of something remarkable, but what is that? Well, keep watching to find out. Construction work recently began on what is going to be the tallest building in Japan. The Torch Tower, located near Tokyo Station, will be a 390 meter super tall skyscraper, surpassing the 330 meter Azabudai Hills Mori JP Tower in central Tokyo. The skyscraper, planned to be completed in March 2028, is part of a wider urban development initiative known as the Tokyo Torch, being developed by Mitsubishi Estate on a site of Tokyo's railway station. Mitsubishi's plan is to create an urban district that brightens and energizes Japan. Mitsubishi describes the tower as a torch that lights up the world, according to Mitsubishi Estate. That is, the light that symbolizes Japan to the whole world, the light that brightens one's life for the future century, the light that gathers those who come together to build Japan's future. Designed by Su Fujimoto and Yukon Mahayana, the magnificent structure will cost an estimated $4.8 billion and will feature at the top a noticeable crown with a wave-like structure designed to look like a torch's flame. Fujimoto is responsible for the tower's upper section design, while Nagayama focused on the base. According to Fujimoto, the symbolic flame of the torch tower will take the form of an undulating semi-outdoor public observation area. It will be a sky garden that cuts into the shell of the building, offering visitors a sweeping view of the city, as well as a variety of cultural and recreational programming. Visitors can see firsthand a breathtaking view of Mount Fuji and the Tokyo Bay from this eye-catching public plaza and observation deck. The observation deck, dubbed Sky Hill, was envisaged as a torch that lights up the world. Meanwhile, the top section of the tower is going to be a 100-room luxury hotel boutique. Even with its imposing height, the building is designed to have a substantial mass. It has an impressive floor area of 544,000 square meters, an area 1.75 times larger than the current world's tallest building, the Burj Khalifa. This impressive amount of space allows the tower to house a 2,000-seat entertainment hall, office spaces, and a Dorchester Hotel collection between the 57th and 61st floor. Fujimoto writes that the Torch Tower creates the new typology of high-rise building to have a large semi-outdoor hill-like plaza in the middle of the building, around the height of 300 meters, as a place for people instead of an object. The remarkable high-rise is meant to be a seamless integration of nature, architecture, and human activity. The real estate development arm of the Tokyo-headquartered Mitsubishi Group, Mitsubishi Estate, initially announced plans for the then-unnamed Tokyo Torch District in 2016, before it formally unveiled more details of the 63-story anchor office tower in September 2020. At the press conference, then-president of Mitsubishi Estate, Junichi Yoshida said, By adding a new attraction, we will shape Marunouchi into a district that would be chosen by businesses. In January 8, 2021, Fujimoto announced, via an Instagram post, his firm's involvement in designing the top part of the skyscraper. Meanwhile, it's worth mentioning that the Marunouchi Business and Commercial District, where the eight-acre redevelopment is ongoing, is located between Tokyo Station and the Imperial Palace. Marunouchi, which means inside the circle, derives its name from its location within the outer moat of the Imperial Palace. The district is also Tokyo's major financial hub, with the headquarters of the country's largest banks located there. Since the official 2020 announcement of the project, Mitsubishi Estate has changed its president, but the goal remains the same. At the groundbreaking ceremony of the Torch Tower, company president Atsushi Nakajima said, This is a huge project to update the city's infrastructure and buildings at the same time. 
However, the Torch Tower is only one of two major towers being developed by Mitsubishi as part of the Tokyo Torch Redevelopment Project in the Marunouchi Business and Commercial District. The other tower is the already completed 38 floors and 212 meters Tokiwabashi Tower. This tower isn't as architecturally fascinating as the Torch Tower, but it is still quite impressive. It contains shops, offices, common spaces for employees on two floors, including a lounge and conference room on the eighth floor and a cafeteria on the third floor. Speaking of the Tokiwabashi Tower, Mitsubishi Group in-house architect and designer Koji Matsuda said he intended to build surprise, joy, pride, peace of mind, and happiness into the Torch project. Koji also worked with the designers of the Torch Tower, Su Fujimoto, and Yuko Nagayama in designing the Tokiwabashi Tower. Between the Tokiwabashi Tower and Torch Tower is an approximately 7,000 square meters plaza at the district center. The plaza is designed to link to a landscaped waterfront along the Nihonbashi River, as well as the Tokiwabashi Park at the district's north side on the former Edo Castle Gate site. The first stage of the central plaza and the Nihonbashi waterfront have already been completed. Designed by Takanori Fukuoka, the plaza links to an open-air walkway that spirals around the first eight floors of the torch tower and leads to a rooftop garden. The combined outdoor area approximately covers 20,000 square meters, and as a result of the seamless connection between the two towers and the outdoor spaces, it will be possible to integrate all facilities for an event. Additionally, this extensive outdoor area can serve as open offices or relaxation spots for both district employees and visitors. Building towers this tall in Japan, a country that frequently experiences earthquakes and typhoons, can be challenging. To execute the project, Mitsubishi employed the services of skilled and experienced structural engineers. Engineers who have worked on a number of high-rise structures both in Japan and in other countries. The design of the tower significantly reduces sway in the event of an earthquake or strong wind, ensuring the highest level of seismic resistance. The plaza will also be equipped with large electronic billboards and Wi-Fi so that it can serve as a disaster recovery base in case of an emergency. The multi-purpose hall would also be made available as a temporary shelter for stranded commuters. By incorporating safe and secure systems that meet the demands of modern architecture, like the extensive outdoor space, highly functional interior space, and expanded options for moving around the city, visitors to the Tokyo Torch Project will experience the wonder and excitement of a real-world space as people continue to rethink what buildings and cities should offer the general public. Meanwhile, the Tokyo Torch isn't the only urban redevelopment project Mitsubishi has developed in Japan. Mitsubishi also took part in the redevelopment of the former Sugamo prison site in Toshima Ward. The project, which was a national project tagged Sunshine City, was completed in 1978. Sunshine City is a huge complex that integrates commercial facilities, office areas, hotels, aquariums, and even theaters. The project's office building, the Sunshine 60, was 240 meters, the tallest building in Japan at the time. In the 1980s, Mitsubishi participated as the largest private landowner in the Minato Mirai 21 urban redevelopment project. In 1993, the 296-meter Yokohama landmark tower was completed as a symbol of the Minato Mirai. The tower attracted a whole lot of attention as Japan's first vertically integrated building with offices, a shopping mall, and a hotel. Mitsubishi also has quite a rich history with the Marunouchi district. Founded in 1890, Mitsubishi Jisho Sekei has its roots firmly rooted in the district, with the company responsible for building Japan's first modern office building. The company also designed many brick buildings close to Tokiwabashi. Mitsubishi's presence has been felt around the Marunouchi district across three generations, with the firm having replaced all the original buildings in Tokyo's main station with impressive office towers. The Torch Tower high-rise also joins other developments by Mitsubishi Estate in and around the 7.7-acre Torch site close to Tokyo Station, with the electrical substation for Mitsubishi Estate and the Tokiwabashi Tower already completed. A wastewater pumping station has also been completed, with the Torch Tower set to be the final project planned for the Tokyo Torch. But while the Torch Tower would stand proudly as the tallest building in Japan if completed as planned, 
Its height would only make it the 41st tallest building among completed buildings in the world. If we, however, take into consideration other tall buildings under construction, the Torch Tower will be the 70th or closer, according to the Council on Tall Buildings and Urban Habitat. The world's tallest building, the 828-meter tall Burj Khalifa in Dubai, is more than double Torch Tower's planned height, and it seems set to retain its crown. Thank you for joining us. We're curious to hear your take on this super tall skyscraper. If you're not already part of our community, hit that subscribe button now. Don't miss out on our thrilling content exploring mega projects and the world of construction.